All right, all right. Let's try that again. What's going on, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. <laughs> Today is Thursday, February 24th, 2022. And damn, dude, yo. So I start to stream, kick the stream off, do the intro, and I hit a button on my keyboard. Shift, control, all space z i don't know what the hell it was i just slapped my hand down on the desk slapped the key and the obs was highlighted so it made some shit with obs and uh it stopped the fucking stream so i had to kick it back off you know it's kind of weird dude like the intro i don't know about the intro doing the intro should i just start it up is it a show does it have to be a show what the fuck am I even doing? You know, all those things cross my mind. And uh, can I just turn it on and just say what? You know, I don't know. It's a lot. You know, when you're making content and you're doing this shit, it's, it's, it is about like constantly improving, but it's also questioning like, what in the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing, dog? You know, of course I'm trying to make money, trying to make a living, making these videos, playing games stacking bitcoin being as healthy as i could be without being a a super straight edge and raising a good family and living life you know health family bitcoin doing all these things without of course selling out jeopardizing my own independent thoughts because somebody's paying me you know that's really difficult that's super hard like once somebody starts paying your ass how the fuck you gonna talk shit on them you know they're not gonna pay you no more (laughs) and we were talking about this in eververse weeks ago it was a couple people i think it was like sandy and money bin or something and some others maybe trench was up in there and that's hey it's life you know it's life as you get older you figure this shit out or you start to question these things and then you look at other people and you say oh like what's their motive why are they doing it because the whole thing too is is like popularity you know a lot of people get stuck up on views view count subscriber count this that and the other thing and it's like man chasing the wrong thing you know chasing the wrong thing and i find myself getting caught up in that too like oh how can i maximize views or do some shit like that with a thumbnail luckily i just like making thumbnails dude like that's something that i like to do I like making the thumbnails because I just like fucking around with art and shit, you know, whatever. It's just, it's just fun. I I, sometimes, most of the times, half the time I'll make a thumbnail because I'm trying to make a thumbnail and I'm like, all right, I got to make a video now. And so I cue it up, bro. Like shit. It's not the videos that are driving my thumbnails. Half the time, it's the thumbnails that are driving my videos. I'll see somebody's thumbnail. I'm like, damn, that's a cool ass thumbnail. And I'll try to emulate it a little bit and put my little own little spin on it or something. Uh, or I'll just see a cool picture and I'll be like, oh, I want to integrate that into like a thumbnail with like an axie or whatever, you know? Just stuff like that. Also, tutorials, you know, I watched a tutorial yesterday and I made this thumbnail in Photoshop and it was from. Um, it's coming out today, right? I think it's coming out today, the video. It's coming out at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So it's an Eververse video. So I watched a thumbnail on this. And the dude was, it was a good video. You know, I gave him a thumbs up. And uh, it was a good one. It was about like glowing effects and stuff. Now, I couldn't pull the glowing effects off. It went a little deep. It had like clipping masks. I don't know. He was using like control or all to i think it's a clipping mask creating on the layer so it was like three clipping masks where the layers were attached and then he went around the the silhouette of the character with the paintbrush tool like a light blue and it had a blue background and then he the smudge tool so the smudge tool is really effective in making that smooth flow so i did use the smudge tool a little bit <clears throat> but going around your whole image you know that takes a lot of work plus he was showing how you change the the brush size 
to make it even cooler. You know, you go around the outside with a wider brush of the silhouette of the character. And then like on the inside, he had a hoodie on. So like the ripples of the hoodie, you could do it with a thinner brush and the contrasting brush sizes give it a cool effect. It doesn't make it look like a solid, just a thick outline, you know? And the smudge tool really helps with that too because you're spreading, you're spreading, you're spreading, you're spreading. Uh, but I have a, I have an old uh, version of Photoshop. It's like super old. It's Photoshop CS3, super old. So he uses the quick selection tool. Uh, and I have the quick selection tool in that Photoshop version but it doesn't have like select image or something so i did use the select the quick selection tool which i never knew about the quick selection tool i was always using the magic wand and changing the pixels how much it would get how, how little it would get i was always using the magic wand but little did i know there was a quick selection tool right under the magic wand so i use that now and it actually works and I, it's actually pretty good the difference between the two is the quick selection tool you change the brush size and it, it has another setting on there too that i don't know what it does but i can look that up so that's it i mean you know learning you know learning's fun too so not only doing these things in life but also learning and getting better stimulating your mind stimulating your brain learning new shit that's good that's good don't stay stagnant just being a fucking stick in the mud not doing nothing not bettering yourself and i got this fucking mug dude this coffee mug why is there fucking dirt in it i'm still drinking it but man i'll tell you what super annoying when you get a fucking clean so-called clean you think this shit's fucking clean dude and uh it's not clean it's not fucking clean now i went in the kitchen this morning i was like all right make some coffee but i didn't turn the light on i was like yeah the dining room lights on i'm gonna save some energy why would i turn these lights on in here i can kind of see i can kind of see a little bit i could see pretty good enough to make coffee and fucking uh pull a mug out and uh it's not it's fucking dirty so i'm slurping a dirty mug right now slipping some coffee through a dirty mug thank you so now i gotta hurry up and drink this shit so that i can get my coffee level below the fucking dirt so give me a second here let me take a few heaping gulps of this fucking coffee so i can get below the dirt line i don't want that shit just sitting my coffee just sitting in the fucking dirt it's fucked up what the fuck and it's already been in here for a while so i'm the one up drinking this whole fucking cup all right that's enough fuck what the fuck i like to enjoy my coffee you know i like to fucking drink my coffee slowly chilling talking having a good time out here thinking about the future thinking about how much fucking bitcoin we about to get the hardest money ever known to mankind now look all these games are great all this stuff is cool collecting cash and doing your thing is great but you better be turning that shit into bitcoin okay because what the fuck are you doing we don't know what's going on with this other shit but there is an invention out there that solves the byzantine generals problem the hardest the soundest money ever known to humanity is bitcoin and look hey if you're not technologically savvy or you're not really feeling it then just buy some physical gold you know what can i say just do that then at least you're, you're holding on to something you know it's gonna take a while for gold to get dethroned i think if it even does you know nobody knows the future but if you're skeptical on email at least get some some letters some tangible real mail if you're not feeling like jumping into email just yet which gold is the letters the physical letters and bitcoin is email right it's email money it's hard to believe i know hard to believe now but just imagine imagine for a second right like you, you gotta you gotta think about the world you gotta think about humanity and people 
it's really crazy dude like how people think incentives you know how people use discretion how people have different perspectives and how people are incentivized and just think about how our structure is set up Ugh. It's just everything, everything across the world, you know, but let, we can just think about how the mint, right? You need a central authority for the money, which is called a mint or in the US, the Federal Reserve now, because you can't trust your neighbor. You can't trust Billy Bob and fucking Sally Joe that their money's good or to create money. You know, it, everyone has to trust the almighty, the enforcer, the mint to create the money, you know? They create the fucking money and everybody's cool. But then it's like, well, how do you trust those motherfuckers? You know, you give those dudes privilege and it's like, hey, it's the best we got, bro. You got any better ideas? The best we fucking got. All right, we got to trust these motherfuckers. Okay, fuck it. You know, and then that's the best we had. That's the best we had for the longest time. Now we got better. We got real fucking better when nobody has to trust anybody. I don't have to trust your fucking ass. I know you're a fucking dirty ass scumbag. I don't trust you, man. Fuck you. You don't have to trust me either. Just, that's it. Give me my shit. What's your fucking address, dude? I don't like you. I don't trust your bitch ass. Wait, just send me your fucking address, all right? Because I'm about to buy this shit from you or whatever the fuck we about to do. All right? I don't have to trust you. You don't have to trust me. The blockchain bitcoin is the blockchain proof of work is the blockchain you see this is a we're gonna we're gonna have all these things and we already are where it's like oh energy usage yeah energy usage for a good fucking cause dude i bet you the biggest people that are against energy usage for bitcoin are the motherfuckers who are using energy to create fucking dollars and all this other fucking currency and all these buildings that require them to sit in and chill and all these offices and all these banks and shit come on now calculate your fucking energy usage so there's there's gonna be a push on that you know the whole global warming shit you know whatever dude can't nobody trust nobody all right I mean, this is like the bedrock of society this is the bottom of society this is the root this is the root of society, man, where, you know, we all need to have something that we could trust, the base layer, money. We all got to be able to trust this shit. Ain't no kings and queens in charge of that shit. Well, just trust, just trust Frank. He's cool, man. Just trust fucking Jerome. He's all right. You can trust Jerome, dog. You know what I'm saying? He's fucking a lawyer from way back, bruh. He's got mad credibility, dog. Nah. I don't give a fuck how much credibility you got, dog. You a human. You got discretion. You got perception. You got... It's the other word I fucking said. Incentives. Okay? Those are three strong words. You got those three things. As do we all. There's probably some other shit on a different facet of humanity that I'm not thinking about. You know? Shit's deep. Shit's deep as hell. But the bottom line is we can't trust each other. We can't trust another human with the responsibility of creating money. You serious? And I'll tell you what, you know what? If you think we can, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. The only way I'm cool with that system, if we're, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna trust somebody to make money for everyone else, right? The only, the only way I'm cool with that system is if I'm the fucking king, all right? If I'm in charge, I create the fucking money, and that's it. I, all right, fuck it. You know what? You guys want? Hey, look. We got, hey, you got to do it. Got to fucking do it. Somebody's got to be in charge. Well, I guess, you know, I guess it'll be me. Fuck it, okay? That's the only way I'm cool with that system. Y'all motherfuckers want somebody in charge creating the fucking cash flow, creating the fucking money, direct depositing shit. It's gotta be me. Otherwise, I ain't fucking with it. I'm gonna look for something else. I'm finding something else. And more and more people are thinking the same thing. Like, hold up. Huh? That's how that shit works. That's how the money is, bruh. What the fuck? Yo. Uh-uh. 
Brutal? Nah, come on. First, I gotta get over it and understand it and be like, what in the fuck? You mean to tell me that I walk into the bank and be like, yo, I need a loan for 40K, bruh. Trying to get this fucking new whip or whatever the fuck. And they're like, all right, give me all your fucking info, bro, so we can put you in a database, know all your shit, get hacked later, and then all your shit's exposed. You'd be like, okay, fuck it, here's all my shit. I hope I get approved. And they're like, yep, you got it, bro, 40K. Cha-ching! That shit'll be direct deposited in your fucking bank account next fucking day, tomorrow. You're like, oh, shit. Thanks, bro. Where'd that money come from? Oh, we just created it. That's all. Huh? You just created that shit? The fuck? What you mean? All the money ain't... Not, it ain't nothing? You guys just... Huh? You just have endless ability to direct deposit in motherfuckers' accounts in unlimited amounts? Oh, hell nah. What the fuck is this shit? They start questioning what in the fuck is money. How in the fuck did we get here? And what in the fuck you gonna do about it? That's basically where I am in life. Holy shit! That's basically the story. And, uh, <laughs> yo. It's a mind blower. It's definitely a mind fucking blower. Blow your fucking mind. Blow your mind. Blow your mind. Is that a song? It should be a song. Blow your fucking mind, dude. Find out how the money works. Find out how fiat money works digitally. Just create it into your account and everyone is it happens all over the place like what in the fuck dude what are we even talking about dude what are we even fucking talking about here what is money that's like that's when you start questioning like what in the fuck are we talking about and when you understand that then you'll be like okay well if that's the system that we're fucking with right now dog then you could you could accept Bitcoin a lot fucking easier when you're like, what the fuck? It's crazy. It's crazy as hell. It takes a long time, I guess, you know, to do your research, to understand it, to grasp it, because it is unbelievable. It don't make no goddamn sense. But then when you when you take it all the way back, you're like, oh, it does make sense because we needed somebody in the middle. We needed a mint. Okay, I get it. I get it. It was the best thing we had back then. Then it just gets further and further fucked by us humans. We take more and more advantage of it because we're incentivized. So we incentivize ourselves. We're just, we just do things based on what we're incentivized. So we, we tweak the rules little by little as we go down further along in history. As we get older and older, generation after generation, the rules get tweaked shit gets fucked then all of a sudden we find ourselves here where the fucking dollar ain't backed by gold no more and motherfuckers can just direct deposit that shit willy nilly in your fucking account all day every day across the country across the world and there's motherfuckers that are fucking bestowed the ability the legal authority to do that shit and we're, you're supposed to believe that those motherfuckers are acting in good faith. That those motherfuckers are incorruptible. <laughs> Yo! Come on now. Come on now. No. It's just as much as you want. Like I'll say, dude, your grandmom. We'll put your grandmom, your sweet ass, nice ass grandmom that wouldn't even hurt a fucking fly in that position. And she'll still fuck shit up. Damn, Graham, you fucking up. The fuck, Grandma? You know, she gonna come out with some excuse. Oh, you know, I needed a new kitchen apron. You know, some shit for why she got bribed and shit. You know, oh, they strong armed me. You know, they threatened me. You know, for why she got into this corrupt deal where now she's like, hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Oh, I'll give you this loan for 0% interest, AKA free. If this, that, bleep, blah, you know, these deals, and then, then, that, now, but, bleep, now we all fucked up, you know, now society just fucked the fuck up. 
And it's hard to believe because we're always like, man, somebody at the top's got to know what the fuck's going on. It's got to be some righteous motherfuckers left. Ain't everybody a fucking piece of shit scumbag? And it's true. Not everybody is a piece of shit scumbag. But like I say, we're, we all have discretion, perception, and incentives. So when you understand the human nature this is how we act you can easily see that even though people are good people they still fuck up yeah right easy they still fuck up you think you're doing good and we justify our actions as well on so add that you know we definitely think we're doing good because we justify all our shit and you mean to tell me that humans infallible humans or whatever the fuck people that fuck up humans we're not perfect you mean to tell me that we should be in charge of the world's money supply money the great fucking equalizer shit that everybody like if anything should be fair it should be money that's the bottom line that's where everything sprouts from Money has to be equal. Money has to be neutral. Money can't be political. Look at the fuck what's going on in Canada. Motherfuckers park their cars up in a city, start blocking shit and saying, nah, fuck that. We ain't taking this medicine, bruh. And the, and the people in charge are like, bro, what the fuck you mean you ain't taking this medicine? Shut these motherfuckers bank accounts down. You don't take the medicine. You can't buy food. You can't pay rent. You can't work. That's what's happening right now. It's scary. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. Don't nobody believe it. We just live life. We just keep walking through life like shit ain't happening. Hey, nothing, nothing to see here, bro. Ain't nothing fucking happening, bro. Ain't shit. Ain't shit happening. But shit is happening. You see? This it's weird too because I think about it like, why do we live like this? Why is this how it is? You know? I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You know? I'm still trying to piece this shit together. And I just get on here to express my thoughts And uh, you know it helps me too think about shit You know we're talking It's like a teacher when you're teaching Students You're learning yourself You're also teaching yourself You know you're like reinforcing what you do Or you're like oh shit I never thought of it like that Actually damn now I'm gonna fucking think about that In my free time I'm gonna go sit down on the couch And actually ponder that fucking thing And think about game theory And human incentive and what the fuck is about to happen you know all this shit it's a crazy world it's a crazy fucking world but bitcoin is humanity's best hope at freedom at fairness at equality you know and every, people could say hey what about these fucking motherfuckers that got in early as shit you know fuck them i ain't pumping their bags up hey don't wait longer then dumbass i mean what the fuck it is what it is that's how technology sprout that's how innovation blossoms that's how shit happens you had your opportunity you had an excuse i didn't know about it i didn't hear about it i didn't believe in it hey that's the fucking life dude you know let's say the fucking there's a big ass tree somewhere in the world and it's got a shitload of acorns you know oh i was never near that tree oh okay well fuck too bad you didn't weren't near that tree to eat the acorns it, it is what it is it's fucking nature dude it's life everything ain't gonna be equally fucking fair where it's like uh hey new amazing money has been invented or being invented in three two one go everybody has a fair fucking race and a fair fucking shot that's not how it works what about the babies that are being born now what about the kids that were born after bitcoin was invented like what do we have to stop rewind time oh it's only fair for the people that were x amount old when bitcoin was invented that they could buy into it no that's how this shit works man that's nature dude the shit came out when the shit came out the shit was invented when the shit was invented and you're just a fucking squirrel trying to find a nut find that shit and if you don't hey blame it on everything else all the other shit going on in the world and just keep heme hauling and delaying that shit if you want i mean fuck it's up to you anyway hey, don't don't fucking listen to me dude 
You know, like you, you talk about, oh, it's not fair for me. Blah, blah, blah. What about the babies? What about the people that aren't even born yet? When does it become fair to them? You can say, oh, well, <clears throat> if I buy it and I have a baby, then I'll pass it down to my baby. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? What if you fuck up? What if you suck at life? You, you actually had the opportunity to get some bit fucking Bitcoin. You did. And then you fucking blew it. You lost it. It got stolen. Then what? Now we need somebody else to come back, rewind time, and fucking put you in a good spot? Nah. Nah, Doug. You got to get in where you fit in. That's fucking life. I know we're being taught all this stupid shit by all these stupid motherfuckers about we can make shit fair and this, that, and the other thing. Why did they teach you that? Because... Of course, they want to be the people that are put in power to make shit fair. That's what I'm saying. If we're going to have money where a king and a queen get to decide who gets what, how much they get, when they get it, and whatever the fuck, how much, you know, the amount that they get, the only way I'm cool with that system is if I'm the fucking king and I'm the one deciding who gets what and I get to pad my own shit. That's the only way I'm cool with that. And it's the same thing with politicians coming out talking about all this other shit they're saying that because they want to be the ones in this fucking position to provide so that they get all the resources and the money and get fucking paid it it's fucking easy it's easy but it's also it's easy to see but it's also easy to be lazy and say look bruh i'm not trying to rely on myself i'm not trying to put in the work i ain't trying to do shit I am just trying to clap for this motherfucker up here. Fix my shit, bruh! Yeah! Fix my shit! That's what people do, you know? That's easy. Be like, look, it ain't me. I ain't the problem. I can't control the problem. I can't fix the problem. Ain't shit I could do. It's the system's problem. And this motherfucker standing up there, he looks like me. He talks like me. He's going to fix it for me. <laughs> yeah, he's going to fix it for you. Just like I'm going to fix it for you. Put me in charge. I'm going to run that shit. I might break you off a little something, something. Not before I get my shit, bruh. Shit. Not before I get my shit. Fuck you talking about. Shut the fuck up. You got a problem with that? Nah, I'm in charge now, bruh. Got what you wanted. That's real life, man. That's real life. All right. A lot of people probably never had experiences like that where they got fucked up <laughs> you live in fucking cushy ass lives and shit you never had a situation where you got fucked up so you think you can rely on people oh he'll, they'll fix it for me <laughs> yeah they'll fix it for you how much money you got bro give me a fucking loan dog yeah give me a grand give me give me some money i'll fix it for you uh-huh wink wink stupid ass motherfuckers Easy, easy, easily deceive motherfuckers. I'm being so dumb. And that's why, too, you know, it can't be no starting point or Bitcoin and shit. You got to get over it, dude. It came out when it came out. I was late as well. But I'm recognizing the two systems. I'm recognizing the world. I'm recognizing human psychology and all this other fucking shit. And it's deep as fuck. And I don't understand a bunch of it. But I'm seeking you know what I'm saying? I'm looking and I'm not just stuck in one way. I'm like, all right, let me try to figure this shit out though. Let me try to figure this shit out. And hey, I am playing video games. I do sit here and play video games. You know, I'm not saying don't have fun. Don't live your life. Of course, live your life and have fun and shit, but go to the base of, of fucking civilization, which is money. And go snag some of the hardest fucking money that's ever existed in the entirety of humanity. What the fuck? The fuck is you waiting for? And if you don't think or know or whatever, find the fuck out. God damn. Because the longer you wait to do anything in your life, the only person you're going to have to blame is yourself, man. I mean, really, that's it. Ain't no politician or no fucking person gonna fucking fix your shit <clears throat> there's gonna be plenty of people that are gonna tell you that they're gonna fix your shit including me i'm gonna fix your shit pay me pay me that's why i like with the scholar uh, not with the fucking uh, uh like the sponsors with the sponsors like yo it's tough because once you start getting paid 
then you start being fake like oh well uh being paid by this company i don't really want to talk shit why would i you know incentives incentives we're incentivized to do certain things in life and the cool thing about bitcoin too is that it the game theory of it is it actually incentivizes people to use it because number go up <laughs> it's so cool number go up it just keeps being worth more and more in fiat terms because this is the way fiat is designed and the way bitcoin is designed aka fiat is unlimited and easy money it's everywhere and people can't help but just print and create it and bitcoin is super scarce comes out on a schedule there's only 21 million of them so that's two opposites of the spectrum which one you want to be in and my number go up is going to want people to get in it people are going to greed it's going to play on their greed and people are going to get in this shit and it's just going to become more and more incentives to get into bitcoin that it will just take over but it's going to be some pain it's going to be some shit along the way to get there most likely i mean hey bitcoin is humanity's best hope at <laughs> surviving at freedom at just an amazing time dude but the old system you know that people aren't just going to give that shit up and be like oh well fuck it there's a new money now nah, it'll be a slow slow grind where more and more extreme things will happen by the people trying to keep the system you see wear these masks take this medicine freeze your bank account start a war a lot of shit right that's fucked up a lot of shit and just shit like that's happening right now we're living in it right now and that's that's the people that are in the old power structure trying to maintain it and saying what the fuck's going on you know everything was cool when the people that could print the money and create the money were allowed to just run free and nobody was paying attention everything was cool they were like fuck it let these plebs live their life we don't give a fuck we're fucking filthy rich up here <laughs> But now, with the invention of the internet and all this shit that's going on, information is way easier to get now. And the internet has caused everyone to come together tighter and everybody's in everyone else's shit. We're all in each other's business, right? Everybody's in everyone else's fucking business now because of the internet. And now everything's getting fucked up. And all these rich people that control the, the money and printing of currency, the dollars and all the fiat currencies, they're all like, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nah. Y'all y'all in our business? Oh, hell no. Nah. We're kings and queens. Fuck that. We got to lock these bitches down. We got to put fucking blocks on the internet. These motherfuckers can't speak like that. Hell no. That's hate speech, motherfucker. That's terrorism shit, motherfucker. Oh, hell no. Pass these laws. Oh, fuck that. Make these motherfuckers wear a muzzle. Put a fucking mask on, bitch. Oh, shit. Yo, take this medicine. You can't, if you don't take this medicine, you can't go here. Put these fucking gates in place. Put these barriers in place. That's what's happening. Freeze these motherfuckers' bank accounts. Y'all can't buy shit. You're in our fucking business now? Oh, hell nah. Imagine the ego on these motherfuckers. Imagine the ego that would be on your ass. If you, if you could print money in unlimited amounts and couldn't nobody say shit about it because you had the legal authority to digitally create fiat currency us dollars in any amount give it to you your boys and just do whatever the fuck you want you could fund any project you want you could fund anything you want something built you want people to advocate or people to go do some shit you could pay motherfuckers to go do shit every single day and you would never run out of fucking cash what in the fuck are we talking about? That's the fucked up realization that people are starting to have. <laughs> more and more people are starting to have that shit. So the people that are in power to create this fucking shit are like, oh, fuck that. Motherfuckers are figuring this shit out. Hell nah. Inject these motherfuckers with this fucking poison ass shit. Fuck that. Lock these motherfuckers up. Hell nah. That's terrorism, boy. Do all this shit. Freeze their fucking bank account. They can't get shit. Nah, they can't come in that supermarket. Hell nah. Fuck that. You see? That's, what the, that's what's happening right now. People that have control to be able to print the money are being pressed now because of the internet, because of Bitcoin. 
And they ain't having that shit. They're starting wars. Chemical wars, injected motherfuckers, making all these rules that motherfuckers can't do shit, clamping down on people in society saying, y'all bitches, y'all peasant ass bitches, you can't do shit without our permission. Fuck that. We control this shit. You know, the power is slipping. They're starting to lose a little bit of that power and they cracking the fuck down on your bitch ass, on your little peasant ass. So go ahead and stay in that system if you want. Do what you want. I mean, it's ultimately up to you. But I'm just saying there's another option now. Now we actually have an option. And that's Bitcoin. And how amazing is that? Where Bitcoin is a technology that's totally neutral. It doesn't care what you look like, what policies you go for. Even if you're a fucking asshole dude, Bitcoin treats everybody all the same. It's crazy, man. It's amazing. It's so amazing. It just blows my mind, dude. Like, it gives me hope for the future, hope for humanity. And that's why I say Bitcoin is humanity's best hope. And you got to figure it out. That's the thing on every single person listening to this. It's your responsibility, not mine. It's not some politician. It's not your mommy's, your daddy's. It's nobody's. It's yours. You got to figure it out. That's it. You got to put in the work. Just figure it the fuck out. Or suffer the consequences. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Later.